morning, everyone. I guess good afternoon to you all on the other side of the country. Time for another Super Metroid multi-category tournament race between Azo and Shiny Zenny. In a fairly predictable veto sequence, Azo is like, I don't want to race against... I don't want to race 100% against the person who is currently grinding 100% for the world record and has decided to veto that. Zenny vetoes triple bingo, so we'll be seeing any percent between these two runners. Zenny's any percent PB, according to the spreadsheet, is a 52.58. And Azo has a 47.18. So, both very respectable any percent times. Um, we'll have to see if we see any Fantoon first versus Kraid first differences. I believe they were saying in the race channel that Azo will likely be doing a Kraid route. So if Zenny makes any mistakes or tries to get any safeties, that could get him an advantage. And we're off! Zenny, the first one to make it to the room to get beat up by Ridley. See if he can pull off his uh, perfect door exit at 5987. Pixel perfect setup. 59.86. Come on, Zenny. 100 too slow. I don't even remember if 86 or 87 is perfect. Steam uh, favoring Azo today. And no tile deboost for Zenny. <laughs> Zenny not happy with the, happy with that uh, collision oscillator luck there. Zenny going for the backup moonfall location. It's like Azo choosing to do just a normal fall. Still gets quite clean jumps through those platforms. Looks 
like Zenny's ahead by about just one victory fanfare on our first part of our route, heading back up toward the Bomb Teresa. We'll have to see if Zenny decides to play it safe and do a KPDR route, or if he's going to want to risk some more on the Cantoon first new route. Also, could have some uh, safety tanks available. Perfect kill the pirates room from Zenny. Nice job. Looks like Azo's going for the ledge climb route, whereas Zenny doing his wall jumps. Both pretty much equivalent in time. Nice ledge grabs from Azo. Except for that pirate doesn't like it. Time for everyone's favorite Bomb Teresa fight. I learned the other day the Tass actually escapes from this room without fighting him at all. And then again, the perfect fight with uh, the right missile drop RNG that he needed. Azo not getting quite as lucky. Needed to save one of those drops in the air. And now has the head. There we go. <laughs> we are. You are correct, Chet, that technically 100% is any percent, and so is RBO. Something tells me we won't see Zenny try to RBO this way. We'll have plenty of time later for that in the tournament. I believe weeks four and seven, or maybe three, yeah, four and seven have RBO as a available category. See if Zenny did. Nope, Zenny not choosing to take the Brinstar Reserve as a safety. And did missile the pirates, so it looks like he'll probably be going for up Red Tower. Um, for those wondering, next week's categories, which it starts tomorrow or Monday, I'm not sure when we roll over to week two. Um, it is All Bosses, GT Classic, and 100% as the three options. So if everyone's ready to get on some some hot spore spawn action, that'll be uh, being shown next week. Time to check Zanny's route, see if he's gonna play it safe or go for gold. Coming into the red tower at 810 and going up. So we'll be able to check his lead here on Azo as he goes in. Avoiding all those Samus Eaters. Is 
Zinni, of course, has the fourth best PB. Oh, Azo also choosing to head up. Entering Red Tower at 845. So about 30, 30, 35 seconds behind Zenny. Azo, of course, Shiny Zenny does, of course, have the fourth best any percent BP of anyone who registered for the tournament. So definitely a hard ask. Ooh, Zenny taking a safety save. Definitely a hard ass for Azo, but he's trying his best to keep up, doing a pretty decent job here. This raid will probably be going into Pantoon as Zenny finishes it. Not quite getting the deep boost off those yellow thingy majiggers. Everyone's favorite topic, how to CWJ. For those who haven't seen too many any percent runs, this is a double frame perfect chip with a frame perfect jump and then a frame perfect wall jump off of the little platform thing. With Moonwalk on, you can reset more easily to get into the room. And so we'll see how many uh, tries it takes any here to do. Oh, looks like he's going to switch to the horizontal bomb jump back up. It's that first try. We'll see what Azo does. Some opportunity to catch up if we can get it here. Ooh, just barely misses his HPJ. Ah, gets the first frame perfect jump, but not quite the second. You saw Samus do the little wall animation and which meant it was almost in the right spot. Oops, accidentally goes through the door. The mode of course being the number one nemesis for most runners in any percent. Alright, Zenny. Here comes a slow slow fan tune for you, I'm sure. There we go, Azo gets across the moat. Supering that nasty turtle just in case it gets in your way. and Pantoon the fight there from Zenny. Did end up being a uh, three round, but very clean. As uh, about to enter the fight as Zenny leaves. Time for a high five. 1221, Zenny leaving uh, Pantoon, Pantoon there. Ooh, as of keeping one super, which is good. Come on, Zenny. You can get that D-boost. Nice Doppler, Zazo. Ah, fast on the second time around. Ooh, didn't go for the kill. I think you might have been able to get it there. But always good to be safe. You don't want to enrage fan, too.
Also, a little bit over a minute behind, leaving Fantoon, but still on Zenny's heels. Any percent is absolutely not a free category at pretty much any time during the race. Strike for Zenny on his bowling. Two jumps, nice clean, sticks to landing. 10 out of 10. Bowling, of course, being a little easier in uh, any percent than 100% because you're not trying to shoot those stupid robots in the floor. Azo coming out with plenty of ammo for Attic. Zenny getting his overpowered tool and is now going to head down. Turtle not cooperating with him though for a deep boost. Lazo also got a bowling strike or is he going to get a spare? Zenny remembering to pick up best beam in the game. That's honestly the one of the best parts about the this route is we get to get spacer. Three beams is always better than two. Headed into Craig's Lair. We'll see if uh, any of our runners are going to be polite and take Craig up on his offer to have a dance, or if they're just going to shut him right down. As always, make sure to give the runners a follow. Um, I personally have not seen as a stream yet, but I'm sure it's fun. And then, of course, Shiny Zenny giving us large amounts of 100% uh, grinding entertainment in his Ninja Turtle pajama pants, as you can see his buttons. Clean crate quick kill. Getting the suit that we only get because it's faster to get than more in tanks. Of course, without the Vario suit, you actually need seven tanks or something like that to survive the Rainbow Beam of Mother Brain, as opposed to only three. Neither runner picking up any safety tanks so far. The 
Trades tank is coming up as a common one to grab. We'll see if either runner chooses for that. Oh, interesting. Azo choosing... So he is going for that safety tank. Azo is choosing to head down and kill Crate on the way back up. I don't know really if what the time difference between the two options is. Having Varia suit does make the Ridley fight slightly safer. For I believe it provides additional damage reduction. Also choosing to go get Ice Beam now. Now, actually, yeah, that's normal because you want to have your full beam combo against Ridley. That's So we'll see, as we're taking a risk here, we'll see if uh, that can make him up any uh, time against uh, Zenny. Ooh, get in the ice escape. Nice job, Azo. We'll see if uh, Zenny can get his mock ball out of here. Our runner is about to head into the most dangerous part of the run. Lower Norfair with two tanks is always really joyful. Gotta grab our speed booster and wave beam first. Ah, I've never seen anybody freeze the cack. That's a good way to make sure it doesn't knock you off. Looks like we'll uh, might be able to see our runners do a high five in the vocal rooms. Ah, yep. Runner, runners wanting to say hi to each other. Azo choosing to do two farms. Looks like he's got decent ammo right now. A little short on power bombs to make things a little faster in lower nerf air. But not too bad, really. Chooses to grab that missile. I don't think it was strictly necessary, but certainly can help against Dragon. Zenny choosing to fill up on supers and get some good, good drops there. Oh, 
Also going for a Lava Spark. You get it? Oh, barely bonks. Now he's doing a gravity jump off the Nama Haze, which is interesting. I'm used to the gravity jump on the bottom. We'll see what uh, entry route Zenny goes for here. Ah, Azo taking a safety save now. I think it's a good choice at this point. This next area can be really dangerous. Zenny also going for the spark. And doesn't click it in time. Goes for the more traditional uh, gravity jump next. Wrong suit, Zenny. Looks like Zenny's also setting up for uh, X Factors. Whereas Azo's keeping his beams on, so likely not going to. Choosing just to go straight through the pillars and not try for fast pillars. Zenny also taking his safety save, second of the game. Time to check out worst room in the game. Clean power bomb. Ooh, barely misses the wall jump. Gets the other side. A little low on energy though. Kill this pirate for safety. Zenny going for fast pillars. We'll see. Can he get his short charge? That's a yes. Also through worst room into amphitheater. How about you, Zen? Are you gonna get your first jump right? Nice job. Right over that pirate's head. Oof. Also, careful there. Doing the bomb spill to make getting through this room a little faster. Zenny using uh, spark strats to clear out the key hunter. And now having also having just the right amount of power bomb. Spark strats against Metal Pirates for Azo. Gets some nice clean super drops. Nice drops for Azo. Full ammo heading, almost full ammo heading into Ridley. Might want to farm a little bit more energy, but we'll see. He knows that Zenny's a great runner, so might be trying to take some risks. a little more energy, and then it's alright. Alright, time to go. Zenny, on the other hand, coming in with three full E-tanks. Only one power bomb, though, which he ought, would like to have a few more for some X-Factors. See how many he goes for. Also, probably, like, one more super. Chat will have to remind me how many charged ice space or wave shots it is. Zenny going for his X-Factor setup. Nice. It's the second one, too. Using his supers early. Meanwhile, Azo's keeping his for the enraged phase. Runners getting manipulating pat Ridley's pattern just fine. Ozzo probably will start using his super soon. Zeddy, meanwhile, only has a whoop, few more hits to go, but they gotta watch out for that tail. 
Ooh, Ozzo misses a super. That's not good. Thankfully, this is, uh... Not chargeless or Super Metroid Impossible or something like that. Ozzo being the first runner to take Ridley down. Setting up for his X Factors against Dragon. And looks like he wants the Ridley tank. Both runners want their Ridley tank. Another safety that doesn't take too long to make sure you can cleanly escape from lower nerf here. Neck and neck headed out of Ridley, but of course Ozzo still does have to go kill Kraid. But considering his PB any percent is about four minutes slower than Zenny's, it's a excellent race from him so far. actually don't know why we need to conserve power bombs there. Or regular bombs might just be faster than the power bomb lag, to be honest. And Zenny takes his uh, screen lead back, exiting that room. Uh, of course, again, still still have the time save of beating Crate already. Lower North Air theme is the best theme. Oh, 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 no! Oh, no! Oh, there you go. Oh, <laughs> come on, Ozzy, you can do it. There you go. That was close. Very close. Three Musketeers uh, almost taking him down. Eight energy. <laughs> Come on, Zenny, where's the Dragon safety save? Again, right, this category is never free. Even now, the hardest part of the game is done after some uh, barely living moments from Ozzo. Uh, but quick spark kills on Dragon and then uh, Turian movement can still make a big difference. Ozzo has to, of course, do his Kraid fight now, and so we'll be able to get a good feeling for timing here pretty soon between the two runners. We'll see if Ozzo goes for any lag reduction strats against Kraid. Nope, just the bomb set up to get the right positioning. Alright, Zenny setting up for, uh... See if Ozzo wants to take Kraid to the prom. Looks like he didn't like that first timing, so went for the one backup. Perfect. Zenny into bot wound, gets his one round with X-Factors. Absolute garbage drops, though. Not a single super.
course doesn't need that E-Tank from Bot Wound now. Can you get the full halfy? Perfect spark. Oh, no, no, just the halfy. Just a slightly pixel too low. And does choose to take the Dragon safety save. The player is going to Morph Ball, I believe, for some lag reduction, but then also to get the bomb set up. Zenny indeed a little low for spark strats, but completely out of supers, so... Azo hot on his heels into Dragon. Gets his first full X-Factor along with uh, Beautiful Spark and Doppler. Ooh, I think that one was a little too high for full damage. But just enough to take the Dragon down. Doesn't quite get the suit. There you go. Also a very clean uh, fight, bot one fight from Azo with better drops than what Zenny got. I guess with this route you skipped face jump. Didn't realize that. That makes sense. Azo choosing to grab the bot wound tank. So has one extra tank compared to pure any percent route. Is uh, just a few rooms and a Dragon fight behind Zenny. Nice full happy from Azo. Azo coming into this fight with significantly more ammo and health than Zenny did. So, shouldn't be nearly as much of a risk and doesn't take the same. One more spark to go, it looks like. Ooh, that is not the direction where Dragon is. Those vertical sparks really costing health. Not quite enough. Meanwhile, Zenny on his way into Turian. Almost, Azo. Dragon's pissed. There we go, Dragon down. Meanwhile, Zenny about to enter Golden 4. At 38-19. I'm sure Zenny will feel uh, very glad that he doesn't have to spring ball through uh, Metroid, maybe Metroid skip this time, and he can just do his uh, normal take his time route.
<laughs> Just X factoring for the fun of it. Yes, Ozo's PP according to the spreadsheet is a 4718. Looks like he will definitely have the opportunity to improve on that today. What, Zenny, you're not gonna uh turn off one of your suits this time? A little low on supers, so doing missile strats for the first few Metroids. Wow, well, Ozo is very low on supers. Would actually not be surprised to see him take the uh, ship refill. Is any playing tag with the Metroids. Three supers for Azo. We'll see if he thinks that's good enough or wants to take that ship refill. Good enough. Alright, Zenny, here you go. Ooh, it's grabbed. Too much practice of the uh, spring ball, I guess, and not enough of the normal one. Azo entering Golden 4 at a 41.30, so it's only two and a half minutes behind Zenny. Not bad at all. Definitely, I think, has an opportunity to improve on that 47.18 here. Zenny pulling out all the saves for us. Going for the looks like the down back. Yep. Nice clean zeb skip for him there. Meanwhile, Azo entering Turian as Zenny starts to pop open Mother Brain. This fight had to be such a troll for anyone who was used to the original Metroid fight until they learned how it really goes. Aza doing some nice grouping in that first room. On to his second. Ah, that's a... Interesting strat to make sure the Metroids uh, freeze in the right height. Still very low on supers, and so is conserving them with missiles. It's good jobs in that room, though. Zenny beginning his 24 shot, 40 shots. I don't know how you, remembering all the damage values in this game is too hard. Nice deep boost off the Rinko from Azo there. We'll see if he gets his baby skip. We'll help him make up a few seconds on Zenny. Sixty shot mother brain fight. Thank you, chat. Alright, Ozo, here you go. You can do it. 
Nah, just gets barely grabbed two at the same point. Make sure to salute the baby sacrifice. It dies for us. Ozzo also pretty cleanly getting his Zeb skip. A little low on ammo there, though, but... Oh. Simultaneous mother brain fights, that's about as much as you can ask for in these types of races. Good job. Time to sudden mother brain what to. The next race coming up in the tournament is Sloters versus... I should know because I'm supposed to be commentating it. Sloters versus Thornetto at 3.30 Eastern, 12.30 Pacific on Speed Gaming 2. Uh, following up the rest of the matches today is Diddy versus Asder at 5 p.m. Eastern. Then Mr. Jiggles versus J Chalk at 6 p.m. Eastern. Zenny making sure to get his spark up the climb to uh, finish this race out cleanly. Uh oh. Oh, Azo took too much damage. No, it was so close. GG, Zenny. 47-33. Trying to delay the inevitable. GG to both runners. We'll see if either of them wants to come in afterwards.
Aww, such a cute Squirtle Squad. Remember everyone to please go follow our wonderful runner. It was actually a very close race. It was uh, quite well done. certainly uh, look forward to seeing some more interesting races from Azo going ahead. Uh, I had not seen him before and was uh, quite well done. Looks like uh, both of our runners will be moving on to their next piece. And so... With that, we'll be signing off here for the next hour and 36 minutes, and then we'll see you back on Speed Gaming 2 for our next mission.